Lars, Tiffany, and Matt Moore. We'll start with a brief opening statement from Coach, and then we'll open it up to questions. Sure. Um, well, first of all, what a great day for lacrosse to uh, have the Capital Classic lacrosse tournament here at Audi Field, a new venue, really, for lacrosse, and uh, to bring together three games and uh, some great teams. Um, feeling like a play playoff atmosphere with a neutral site, over 10,000 people. This was great for the game of lacrosse. Uh, there is no question who the number one team in the country is right now. Uh, John Tillman, his staff, his team proved it from the opening whistle throughout the four quarters. Uh, they got us early. Uh, Matt Nunes made some big saves for us early. I was like, okay, hopefully this will, you know, as we sort of catch up to the speed of the game and the Maryland intensity with their cutting and their dodging. Um, but they never relented, obviously, and we just couldn't match them shot for shot, ground ball for ground ball. And so, um, tremendous effort by the Terrapins, and um, they certainly exposed a lot of things we need to work on. We talk about often as a team, it's easier to learn from losses and wins, but we've been trying to learn from the victories, and, uh, and, and we have improved, but um, John Tillman and his crew did a fantastic job preparing their men, and then they made incredible plays over and over and over again. And so uh, we got a lot to learn. I'll well, stop there. Lars, it strikes me when you say that the speed of the game, that's usually something that you guys are dictating. How, how different was that and how, I don't know, disconcerting that if you want to jump in on that, how that was, that, that element of this game was? That, that was startling, that uh, the transition game, how many goals they had from that. Um, you know, in the first quarter, they were coming at us and, uh, and we, we, we tried to rotate and yet they would run through a check, Keegan Comp, the first goal of the game. And then uh, uh, number 55, Owen Murphy, took a check from that point and scored in the first quarter. As the game went on later, it's like, okay, well, maybe we got to slow those rotations down. And then Roman Puglisi's got his two goals coming down in transition. Um, yeah, they, they seem to have answers for everything. But you write that tempo. And uh, we usually dictate the tempo. And um, yeah, it was, it was. Certainly give them a lot of credit for that. Yeah, you, you felt it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Large, you're, you're, oh, see, you had a second part. Uh, just sort of what it was like on the field. Kind of the that. Yeah, it's it, when they don't, we're used to playing teams that, that 10 man, and mm -hmm. similar to us, where they want to ride and they want to turn the ball over. Um, but th 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 this was different, where they were quick to get out, get out of the game right off the offense, and, and they would go right back in the hole, and, and that didn't really allow us to have numbers. and. Mm -hmm. And we, we really weren't able to kind of push transition, and, and that's something that we, we love to do. We do it in practice all the time, and and it was just a, a different game, and it was just a different tempo of the game, and um, it's definitely something we're going to learn. And um, again, like Coach said, it's easier to learn from a loss than it is from a win. But um, this is a really really bad loss for 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 us, and and we're, we're forced to learn from this one. So, Lars, you're you're accustomed to having a lot of possession, doing well on faceoffs. Yeah. <laughs> How big a factor today was the face-off X, and were you concerned coming in that it, it could be as one-sided as that? Uh, when you have Petey LaSala and uh, Gable Braun, you, you don't anticipate losing two-thirds of the face-offs. Uh, but Luke Weirman, he showed us today that uh, he's improved tremendously from, uh, as he's grown older mm -hmm. at Maryland. He's learned from great coaching. And uh, what, what a dominant performance he put out there. It, it felt more than two thirds, didn't it? Yeah, I was looking at the stats, I thought it'd be three more, like that 75%. But yeah, we, we are uh, spoiled often by Petey and Gable and our face off wings. But boy, if it wasn't Wehrman winning himself, his wings, you know, we're, we're coming in and scooping up and getting those extra possessions. It was, uh, yeah, that, you're, you're right to point that out. That, was, that, that had a lot to do with it, why Maryland was able to build a lead, maintain the lead. If we got a couple goals, they'd stymie it because of the possession. Right yeah, Bruce Foster. Uh, Lawrence, we talked the other day about the fact that Maryland has so many guys who can score, mm -hmm. and you talked about what you were going to do, rely on the system. Like, what happened today? In other words, was was it more transition, or was any did Maryland present anything that maybe you knew was coming, but you didn't know how strong it was? We knew it was coming, but yeah, we just weren't able to stop it. First of all, give uh, I, I admire Kate Southside coming back you know, from an injury within two weeks and giving us a gutsy performance out there. But also give credit to Keaton Khan and going at that matchup and winning that matchup. Um, they recognize that, um, that maybe they could take advantage of someone who's not 100%, but is gutting it out there. And 
And so I thought Maryland's coaching staff and Keegan Khan exploited that really, really well. We were excited to have Ben Ware back. You know, he was out there. Um, as they're, they're, but they're, they're both of them, they're sort of getting their game legs back and getting the speed of the game. And in a game like today, whew, you know, there's no time to catch up. You know, you got to be there already. Um, but it wasn't just one phase. You know, Bobby Benson put his guys in really good position, 66. We were better than any other team we played, where we couldn't necessarily win our offense when we were on offense, our matchups consistently. But yet we always felt stress at our defensive end that they were going to make a slide and rotate and double the ball. And you, you start rotating against Maryland, whew, the way they move the ball. And now Matt Nunes is facing a guy with his hands free as opposed to a contested Dodger. And he saw too many of those shots. Matt, Matt you. Yeah, uh, Danielle and Brown here, and then we'll come back to okay. you. Matt, just Lars earlier in the week was saying, even before the result, obviously, that this was going to be a learning experience for you guys. What does a loss at this point in the season kind of do for you in terms of a reality check? Yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. We're walking out on that field. Um, it felt like a playoff game. Um, I just had the same chills that I got during the national championship game. Um, new field, never been there before, so it was just the same exact moment. Um, and it was definitely, definitely, a, a, I was learning as I was going. I was like, this game, we have a, we, we're practicing tomorrow. And it's, it's interesting to, to have so much, the UVA chance, the Maryland chance, the fans there. And I think it was a good learning for, for just the young guys, um, even if they're not playing much, just, just the atmosphere um, where you just look inward. I think offensively, um, we have this, this huddle we get into before every game and, and, and people don't really understand it until they get to that point where there's so much noise, there's so much going on. Um, we're used to playing at Klockner with a lot of fans, but not nearly as much as this. Um, so even with a win or a loss, we're gonna learn from this. And I think with, a, with this loss, we're gonna learn a lot more. All right, we'll go Jeff and then the two yeah, gentlemen just, and the white, and then we got to Kind of along those lines, last year there was the one-sided loss to Syracuse. Yeah. Obviously you came back, won the championship. What What is the key? For